All right, we're going to be walking through how to connect SurveyMonkey with HubSpot Connect. So we've been doing a lot of persona research using surveys with our clients and for our agency lately. So I figured I'd share with you how we are doing it. If you're a HubSpot customer, then integrating with SurveyMonkey is an extremely simple process. And in this video, I'm going to walk through these steps basically to connect with your accounts and then how to set up the list within HubSpot. First, I would make sure you are logged into your SurveyMonkey account and just have it open in another tab for your browser. Then I'd go to your HubSpot dashboard. We're going to go up here to the account tab and then we're going to click integrations. Once we click integrations, it's going to bring us to this page. And this is the HubSpot Connect integrations dashboard. We're going to scroll down to SurveyMonkey. We're going to click integrate with HubSpot. So once we click on this, it's going to ask you to sign into your account. You're going to then click the yellow authorize button. And it's going to let you know that it's all set. And it's going to take you back to the integrations page for SurveyMonkey. So you can see that we're now connected, but none of our surveys are synced. So the first thing we want to do is make sure that one of our surveys is synced. So this means that anytime a survey is sent out and filled out in SurveyMonkey, the data is automatically going to sync into your HubSpot portal and those contacts will come in, go into your contact database. One thing to note is that in SurveyMonkey there's a couple different ways that you can actually send out surveys or collect that information. The, if you go under New Collector, you have the Web Link Collector and you also have the Email Collector. So with the email collector, it's pretty easy. You just upload your email list to SurveyMonkey and you're going to send an email out directly to that list. In this case, you don't have to worry too much about the syncing process. But if you're going to use the web link collector, which is basically just a URL that you might send somebody. So if we wanted to email somebody this link or put it into like a LinkedIn chat message or something like that, that drives them to the SurveyMonkey page. In this case though, you have to do one thing that's crucial to make sure that this syncs up with HubSpot. And that is in the first question, you have to have the word email in it. If you don't have the word email in your first question, it's not gonna sync properly to your HubSpot portal. So this is just an example of how we use the first question by just saying, please provide your email address. And then we have a little bit of other information after that. So now that you have everything connected, you're going to go back to HubSpot and you're going to go to your contacts and you're going to go to your list page. You're going to want to create a smart list. So you're going to go new list. Make sure it's smart list. Then you're going to go down to survey monkey responses down here and you're going to click that. Then you can go here and you can check which survey is available for you to sync. So in our case, we only have one that's available for syncing with our HubSpot portal, so I'm gonna click that. This is then going to start pulling in the contacts, and I can hit done, or I can hit save. It's gonna be processing the list here. And you can see if you ever needed to edit that, or if you wanted to grab, if you grab the wrong list, you can always hit it here, and you can pull it down again, and pull a different list. And if you go back to your list, you can see that the SurveyMonkey test is pulling. And right now it's currently pulling 10. I know there's 19 people in that list, so it's taking a little bit of time. And it's still in processing mode. So you can see this is just a little bit uh, lighter of a green color. Once you have this list, you can use it for future email workflows to your survey responders. And since this is a smart list, it's going to continue to grow as more people complete your survey. The integration between your HubSpot portal and SurveyMonkey is one of the first integrations we'd recommend you should be using with HubSpot Connect. So if you're looking for more details, I'd recommend checking out the HubSpot Academy page. They have a create a survey project and it's at this link. So it's just at academy.hubspot slash project slash create a survey.